good Tuesday afternoon. Uh, I went this morning and dropped off our sales from the Whatnot Auction. 46 video games. I think it was like $165, somewhere right around there. So our total haul, or our total sales from that $170 video game purchase that we did ended up being 350 bucks. So we more than doubled our money. Uh, took about a week and a half, probably about two weeks by the time the money comes back in. But that's a pretty good flip on our money. A lot of money to throw out there just on a wing and a prayer, but worked out good in the long run. Got to go by averages, not a per sale item per se. Per sale, per se. Anyway, today I went there, I did that, and I hit a couple thrift stores. Just go over some of the things we got. The first one I went to, the first Goodwill, not a thing. Didn't find anything. Did run into circa 1980. If y'all haven't checked her out, check her out on Instagram. Circa 1980 on Instagram. She's got some pretty cool stuff. She does a lot of cool things. Uh, so I got a couple ball caps. I got a BMW Motorcycle Owners of Alabama ball cap from 2010. I got a Domino's Pizza Visor. I always have luck with uh, restaurant type uh, McDonald's, UPS, stuff like that. Company hats. I got a Pigeon Forge Dollywood. I just thought that was a pretty cool looking hat. Then we got a another Domino's employee hat. Then I got into the t-shirts at uh, Provident, no, what is that, Samaritan Center over in Udawa, Tennessee. Picked up this Redskins Arrington jersey. It does have a little stain right there, but I got the OxyClean in there. If it's going to toss it in there and let it soak for a bit, I may be able to get that out. I ended up with, I think I got two of these Camaro shirts. I'll probably just bundle them up. They're both XLs. I'll bundle them up and put them on there for like $19.99. There's that one. And let's see, is that the other one? No, this one I just thought was cool. The old Fisher Price telephone. You used to call me on my cell phone. So it was pretty cool. Shouldn't have a problem selling that one. Uh, what else did we get? Oh, here's the other, other Camaro shirt. I'll put that one with that one and we'll sell them for about 20 bucks. Plus some shipping. This one right here. Yeah, this one right here. I don't know if you can see it. Made in USA. Single stitch. Good vintage piece. It is the Alaska's Iditarod 1973 to 1997. 20, 25 years. Pretty cool shirt. It's actually 1996 dated right there. So that ought to be a cool flip. Then we got a, I just thought this was kind of cool. I bought the Nike ones like this before. This is Mario Brothers from 85 to 2017. Just a cool t-shirt. Then I went to the next Goodwill and picked up these little things here. Got to be careful with them so they don't break. They're just little, I guess, porcelain kitty cats. The name brand on them is Leggo. I don't think it's Lego, but it's fine china. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And from what I could see, they were selling for about $17 a piece. I uh, paid $5.99 for the whole thing. So we'll do pretty good on those. Plus, I got some good bubble wrap to wrap something in. Then, I'm walking around the Goodwill, and I see this stock pot box, and I thought, well, that's pretty cool. It's in the box. Maybe it's, you know, pretty new. Maybe it's aluminum, whatever. And I got to thinking, why is it in the toy section? Bingo. Show you what we got. <clears throat> so I open it up. And it was nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. It's full of trains. There's those. There's those. There's another engine. Here's a 
couple more cars. Here's another car. So right there we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cars. And then we've got a whole bunch of track down here. Plus we have the transformer, I think that's what that's called. So that's pretty cool. $9.99, always check the boxes, you don't know what's going to be inside them, especially if you find cookware in the toy aisle. So we're going to go through and research some of this. I'd say probably the big dollar ones or the most expensive ones will be the, the engines. I could be wrong, just depending on, you know, if there's any that's retired or, you know, sought after. Anyway, we got that. We got, the, I don't know how many pieces of train track. I'll count them out, but I'll probably just lock the train track up by itself and just sell it off. Um, all together, but I've sold a pair of shoes today. See if I can get over here to them while I was out. I sold these New Balance made in USA. Uh, I took an offer on them, I had them listed at like $65. Guy offered me 50 bucks because they do need the insoles. I paid $5.99 or $6.99 for them, so that's a pretty good flip right there. I'll take my, take my profit and run. Anyway, are you a quick flip person or are you a hold out for the most money person? Let me know in the comments below. I guess I'm kind of a quick flip. I mean, if I can make, uh, take seven bucks and turn it into 50, less my fees and stuff, and still clear about 30, 35 bucks, I'm happy with that. Uh, some of the other items, you know, uh, the t-shirt I sold the other day that sold for two, or 130 bucks, paid a dollar for it. I could have held out and probably got 160, 170 for it. I don't. I want my money. So I'm a quick flip, I guess. I don't like stuff sitting out long. I got too much stuff that's been sitting out here for a long time. Anyway, let me know in the comments. As always, have a great week. Enjoy your weekend. I got some yard sales and estate sales and things like that lined up for this weekend. I am off, so we are going to hit it and hit it pretty hard Friday morning. Maybe Saturday morning for a little while. And then we got some some plans after that. Anyway, again, enjoy your week. Enjoy your weekend. Hit that subscribe button. Like and share. And as always, woo! Can I get a cha-ching? <laughs>